Hi ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once more to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, touch on the subscription button in order to get a notification anytime we, we upload a new video. But most importantly, don't forget to give this video a like. In this channel, we basically talk about the latest news and we not only report news but we analyze them in a way you understand it deeper than what is reported than the reported news so if you are a fan of politics or if you just want to know what is happening in our country this is where you should be so today Raila Amolo Odinga landed in Burma and he landed there in style and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen that business was booming there meat business biashara ya nyama was booming there the traders there made lots of money and it was a good day for them this is what we call kwa biashara kuangukia waliangukia leo na waliuza nyama yao yote I don't I honestly don't think that any trader was left with any stock of meat. The business was good and they were left happy. That is the kind of leadership we want. We want a leader that when you go somewhere people there are left happy, traders are left happy counting profits. We don't want a leader that if you go somewhere people are left dead. Traders are left counting losses. Such kind of leadership we don't want. We want a leadership that supports business. Your presence should increase business, not decrease business. So ladies and gentlemen, I was privileged to be in that meeting today and I can confirm that the meeting was very very peaceful contrary from what we are seeing from the social media. Some people are circulating some videos of some people saying Ruto, Ruto, Ruto. Nobody could notice that when we were in that meeting. Maybe this is a group of people who organized themselves deliberately and took those videos and started circulating them. Because largely if you ask somebody who was there, in fact nobody could even notice any kind of tension, any drama, it was peaceful. Traders sold their meat and business was good. So these people circulating this video, <laughs> let me tell you this. You can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool them always. Just some few weeks ago, Gideon Moy was to meet Talai clan elders. And we are told that some youth were paid and they waited for Gideon Moy the whole night till the wee hours of the morning just to make sure they block Gideon Moy. I think the same people who organized those youths in Nandi wanted to, wanted to import such kind of archaic behavior to the city. So maybe these people you are seeing in the video uh, saying, oh, root, oh, root, I think these were people who were organized purposefully to go and disrupt that meeting. So when they saw that they could not disrupt the meeting because People were so many and they were very much excited to see Baba. There, there is no way they could disrupt that meeting. You can't disrupt a meeting attended by Baba. Let me tell you the truth. You cannot. If you try that, then you are dead meat, my dear sister or brother. You don't go and disrupt Baba's meeting. Baba is not Gideon, my, my friend. Hmm? And you organize some few people, then you videotape them demonstrating you can't disrupt baba's meeting that way mm? so this only shows how disparate the tanga tanga are very are these people are disparate because <clears throat> tanga tanga this one calling themselves tanga tanga hustler they started their campaigns very early to a point they thought they were already in state house mm? they were running alone they were just in the race themselves they were campaigning for presidents like like they were campaigning very heavily for the presidency to a point they felt they were already in state house 
So when now campaigns start rolling kidogo kidogo, they have started feeling the heat. Hmm? They have started feeling the heat. They are getting disparate. This is why you see them going to an extent of organizing some people to demonstrate and then they circulate such videos eh, so that it can appear eh, that they are popular. Oh, Baba was chased. That's nonsense, my friend. I was there and you can ask anybody who was there. There was no any sign of tension, no drama, no demonstration, no nothing. Those ones you saw maybe in those videos, most probably were paid and they had planned to disrupt the meeting, but they came to realize they could not disrupt the meeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me now talk about William Ruto. And before I talk about William Ruto, I'm requesting my president, that my president, my beloved president, arrest this man, this thief here, arrest this man, lock this man in committee. Lock him in committee so that, lock him in committee. He doesn't deserve to be a free citizen. Simply because he's, he's the biggest threat to the unity of this nation. The biggest threat to the unity of this nation is this man calling himself William Ruto. They, they blocked Gideon Moy in Nandi from accessing Talai, Talai clan elders. L look at that. They, see how intolerant these people are. Then they come to the city, then they want to import such a cake behavior to the city. Hmm? They want to import the Nandi incident to the city. They want to import the Muranga violence to the city. Let me tell them this way. William Ruto, you know nothing about Nairobi politics. About Nairobi politics, we are the foot soldiers on the ground. Hmm? We know how... Co how delicate and complex city politics is. You don't bring village violence to the city. Next time you bring village violence to the city, you will be shocked. You will be shocked. In the city, we have stayed very peacefully, save only for ele election times, when now the country is always split. Every election, the city becomes fragile. But because of the handshake, there is peace in the city. Now we won't allow one single individual to bring violence to this city. We will not allow him. Next time you try to bring violence to the city, you will not hold any rally in this city. We shall make sure we destroy and disrupt all the rallies you will be holding in this city. We will not allow you. In the city, everybody is free to hold his rally. That is what we call freedom. Freedom and democracy. You can't block everybody. You are blocking people in Rift Valley, Nandi. In Central, I'm made to understand you are bullying people to support you. Then you want to come and bully people in the city. You are misled. In Nairobi, you will not bully us. And for the few youths, maybe who are paid to do a video and then they circulate them, and they, want, they are saying, Oh, Ruto, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say, Siasa ya Nairobi. Siasa ya Nairobi, Uliza, what come, Sisi. Sisi to me pick a Siasa Nairobi. He. Natuna elewa, Vile Siasa Nairobi in a pigwa. Siasa ya Nairobi, he. Eh? Upigi na kifua, atunaika kifua mbele, no. Siasa ya Nairobi hii ni akili. People here ni masafarers. <laughs> These are all hustlers. Hustlers with brain, not hustlers being given wheelbarrows. Mm? Me, you can't give me a wheelbarrow, but I'll chase you with that wheelbarrow. Mm? I'm beyond being a, pushing a wheelbarrow. Mm? So kama nyinyi ni watu wa kuvuta hizo wheelbarrow zenu, Nendeni mu vurute hizo wilbaru zeni huko nandi. Musitulete ujinga hapa. Hmm? And then now to this, let me give this person warning. Hii mutu wanaitua Oscar Sudi. I think some two days ago, you started abusing Matiangi and even abusing the president. 
Oscar Sudi we ndio mjinga ya mwisho Kenya hii. Hmm? When you, you are the biggest fool we have around. The, I, I, I just don't know surely. The people of Kapsaret. Does it mean in Kapsaret there are no men you can elect to parliament? Hmm? How can you elect somebody of this caliber? A Makanga. You are electing a Makanga as MP. Eh? Hii jamaa wa kuongea bila break wa mdomo. Elect somebody we mwenye kuna kili, ladies and gentlemen. Eh? Alafu kuna mwingine tena anajiita Sijid Dindinyoro. Hmm? This one calling himself Dindinyoro. This one cannot even debate. If you bring him to a debate is just fumbling one. Eh? What he knows is just he, even even the kind of English Dindinyoro speaks is a village kind of English. You Dindinyoro come and I'll teach you English. Hmm? You are also a big idiot. <laughs> you are an idiot. Hmm? So ladies and gentlemen, back to the Bama incident. During the Bama rally or other meeting, Raila just basically explained to the people what BBI is all about and how BBI has brought us peace and he went deeper to dismantle or rather to kill that, this divisive narrative of the hustler nation. Hmm? Ruto calling himself a hustler in 2013 Ruto nominated all Kalenjins to cabinet secretaries the post he was given, he nominated only Kalenjins as cabinet secretaries. Now here today is cheating us that he's a hustler. At hustlers are going to form government, Mama Mboga, Uwetu Wakuuza Maindi. This man is just laughing at hustlers. Man. Hmm? Hustler Ghani have formed government. Hmm? Look even the nomination in Nairobi. Hmm? First of all, Wanjiru is not a hustler. Hmm? Wanjiru is a very rich woman. Hmm? A very rich woman. Somebody owning somebody owning a gorofa in the CBD, that's not a hustler. That's a rich woman. Hmm? Why don't you look for some people who are roasting maize by the roadside? You give them the ticket. Hmm? Then some people who are selling mutumba, mkokoteni pushers. Why can't you look for these people? Alamu wa semi sasa wewe mutu wako you are we are putting as the governor of Nairobi. Then here is cheating people that hustlers are going to form the government. <laughs> this is all bullshit. This is all bullshit. And the incident of what we are seeing from the from the social media, these videos that are circulating, this only shows you the kind of characters these people are. These people are very disparate for power. Not knowing that it's the people to decide. Hmm? You don't bully people. You know, if you bring your goods to, to the rally where Raila is, next time we shall also not allow you to hold any rally anywhere in the city. Because we know we are the majority in this city. Hmm? These goods are bringing... Dealing with this one is just... kidogo tu now. We we want mature politics in the city. If it's a mass, if 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 you don't want people to come to Nandi, even in Nandi we shall go to Nandi. Leave alone even the city. In Nandi we shall go to Nandi, and Gideon Moi will be installed as a Talai elder. You must know that he will be installed as a Talai elder by force and by fire. Ladies and gentlemen. That is a lot of nonsense in this country. A lot of nonsense. And I'm happy that the hustler narrative they were using now is dying its own natural death. Hmm? In the next one or two months, there is, that narrative shall have died completely. Because even right now, it's not even selling. That narrative of their hustler nation is not selling. They are very much worried. Our lali. <laughs> eh? Awalali kutangulia sio kufika mdugu zangu. Hmm? Hii watu walianza campaign mapema. Na sasa hata tujaanza campaign. Eh? Bado ni kujipanga tu kidogo hivi na wameanza ku, ku baridi imeanza kuwaingia. Na hata campaign hatujaanza. Sasa the day now 
the handshake team will start their campaign how what do you want to feature wapi <laughs> let me end it there ladies and gentlemen don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you